mature, perfect. That's, that's, that's not a word we should use. Oh, they just think they're Mr. Perfect. We ain't talking about that. <laughs> we're not talking about that. Oh, he's just a holier than thou. I'm not, we're not talking about that. We're talking about maturing. People maturing, Brother Darrell, where they can come up and know God and grow up into Him and become a man in Him, become a woman in Him, not a babe, a man or a woman in Him. Grow up. That's what He wants the body to grow up. Now how can we grow if all we're doing is putting all this junk into it? I said amen. All you've done is eat cake every day of your life and ice cream and first thing you know you get unhealthy and sugar diabetes and everything else and you go to the doctor and you say, what are you eating? Oh, I'm just eating cake and ice cream, man, three times a day. Well, he said, no wonder you weigh 500 pounds and you got sugar diabetes and you're going to die. Why don't you stop eating that stuff and put something good in your body? Well, amen, a little of it might be all right, but not all the time. Are you hearing me? Oh, we'll just we'll feed these old things into the body. Oh, you brother, I tell you what, God is in control. Yeah. I'm telling you if things ain't going right in your life. Yeah, amen. I'm telling you right now. God is in control. Is he? If you ain't doing what God said, he's not in control of your life. Now, you can forget it. You're playing. You don't know what you're doing. You need to stop it. You need to sit down. No wonder. That's what's wrong today. Amen. Now, I'm not saying there won't be problems. Yes, there'll be problems. But you stop looking at those things. You start getting in God's Word, and you straighten these problems out. You walk in line with what God said. Now, I'll tell you one thing. If you walked with Jesus down here, you wouldn't be thinking those things. He never said them. I said he never said them. He never once said, well, you can't ever tell what God's going to do. He never said that one time in his life. He never gave you the impression to be afraid or be, be, be afraid of anything, not one time. Every time he showed up, he'd say, be not afraid, it is I. Don't be afraid. Don't worry, I've just got another hour and a half to go. <laughs> Amen. Now God told Joshua to meditate in this word day and night. Now if you want to change, if you want to become the person that God wants you to be, you're going to have to meditate in this word. You're going to have to not be conformed to this world and be patterned after it. Now the world's going to crunch you down. I'm telling you, it's going to press you till you just become like it, if, if you let it. But you can't. You're going to have to get renewed. Get in this Word, receive His Word, and be renewed and be changed, be transformed into the thing that God wants. Praise God. Amen. Would you come share with us about 15 minutes here, Brother Darrell? We'd sure like for you to. Amen. If you don't care to follow me. <laughs> if you don't care to follow me, maybe you can smooth it over here. <laughs> Amen. I'm just kidding. We appreciate Brother Darrell. I do want you to come. Amen. Now, I'll tell you what. God is, God is a good God this morning. I say God is a good God. Amen. Uh, come up here, Brother Darrell, before you begin. I got you. He's on number eight up here. I want to just pray for these. And come right pray for these here. Help me pray for them. Sylvester's called in. Lord bless his life. And uh, here's one. She's got a nerve problem. Sciatic nerve in her neck. And here's another one. Um, Jean Jeanette is having numbness in her neck, back and arms and starting to forget things. And Kenneth Vanover needs prayer. Now, Brother Darrell's going to, we're going to agree, and everybody here can agree. God's going to bless these people in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God, Father. In the name of Jesus, Lord.
We thank you for your word this morning. Lord, we thank you that the word of God is so. And that we send it in, in faith in the name of Jesus to these people that's called in. And thank you for healing this morning. Thank you that these problems is being healed in the name of Jesus. We speak to them and say, be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, the things that aren't like God, we, we command it to go from them in the precious, mighty name of Jesus. Bless each one of them, Lord, to hear and see, receive the word today in his precious name.